tearing down eyesores to rebuild neighbors in neighborhoods and in independent. It's a practice people say must become a priority. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson is live on how the city's determining which buildings to demolish. Mackenzie. Well, Krista, this area of independence looks completely different than it did years ago, even just months ago. This home behind me is one of three brand new homes in this spot in independence. And before these were built, there was a very dangerous motel that sat in this lot and the city had to get involved. The property really fell into severe disrepair. Um, it really became a hotbed of criminal activity. So people in this neighborhood were experiencing transients coming in and out, um, theft from their personal properties, um, heavy drug use, and this was a hotbed of calls for police activity. It was called the Beauty Rest Motel. City manager Zach Walker said it was cited a number of times for different offenses, leading to its closure. The city then came in and demolished the structures using our dangerous demolition building budget. Um, but then we really wanted to find a way to bring this property back to life in the neighborhood. New homes were built in its place, and neighbors hope the positive change will spread, even questioning one building owner today. Are you going to tear these down? Uh, not planning to, no. Are you going to paint them? Or? Yeah. yeah. I mean, why should we have to look at a I mean, this is bizarre. Elisa Breitenbach has lived in Independence for over a decade. She's frustrated with unkept homes and buildings in her neighborhood. She and other neighbors feel it's contributing to crime. Then to see stuff like this and hear the owner basically tell me that, you know, he really has no plans on doing anything to this is horrifying to me. The owner of the property near Breitenbach's home declined our interview. He did confirm the property is rented out and said he was there fixing it up. Basically told told us that he's going to basically leave it like this. The city says the home and shed near Brighton Box home do not meet the criteria for a dangerous building, but there are active property maintenance issues. A hearing is scheduled for next week. I want to thank the city for stepping up and doing something um, that that's positive for our city and taking care of more of the properties that need to be taken care of. By taking a look at the inside of one of these homes, you can see just how big of a difference it's going to make for this part of Independence. And today the city said that they increased their funding from $50,000 to $200,000. One demolition can cost them up to $10,000. And so far this year, the city has demoed 30 dangerous buildings exceeding their goal of 20. Live in Independence, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. All right.